now this is how you do it you get a big bottle of water you don't need to get a fancy bottle or anything Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my amazing space on the internet. It's your girl Evelyn Ambrose recording from Abuja in Nigeria. If you're new to this channel, thank you for stopping by and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So today I'm going to be revealing to you a psalm that I found that has been doing wonders in my life, especially in the financial aspect. So if you stick around with me to the end, I'm going to be showing you a method I used with the psalm to enable me unlock my financial miracle now if that sounds like something you'll be interested in then let's get right into it so i've come to realize that a lot of us do not understand the power of the book of psalms including myself i really did not know until recently and the truth is for you to really understand the word of god you need to ask the holy spirit to put you through to understand it and for you to truly implement that particular book in your life then you need to you know read it word by word understand it say it in a way that can imply to you personally now the book of psalms illuminates the greatness of god it also affirms his faithfulness to us in times of trouble and reminds us of his absolute equality of his word now in the particular chapter of the book of psalms that i'm going to be focusing on is psalms 34 from one till the end now i'm not going to bore you with reading the whole you know um chapter but i'm just going to summarize it and at the end of the summary i'm going to tell you what to do with this psalm to unlock your financial miracle and i'm going to also pay a particular emphasis on a verse okay now before i get into this bible chapter there are three favors i need you to do the first favor i need you to do is that you must first ask for forgiveness from god before opening the bible to read you need to ask for forgiveness from god the second favor i need you to do is that you do not have to hold any grudge against anybody don't keep anybody in your mind because all this is going to go into waste the last and important favor I need from you is to trust God no matter where you find yourself in life. Things might not really be rosy for you, but at the end of the day, I need you to always trust and believe in God that his plans for you are for good and not for evil. And just keep hanging in there. Keep trusting in God. Now, if you've cleared that from the way, let's head over to the video. Now, in the book of Psalms, 34 here we see that david is just giving thanks to god for protecting him and hearing his prayers now after david has finished thanking god he now appeals to others to trust god now david being a former shepherd is very very familiar with the wildlife so he's familiar with lions and he's also aware that these powerful animals would also suffer without food and shelter now it doesn't matter how much faith you have in god you're not immune to hardship but still david notes that god still provides all that his people truly need now i also understand from this psalm that those who truly want the best outcome from life are wise to pursue godliness and goodness rather than sin david then notes that god is truly aware of the struggles of his people He's also aware of the sins of the wicked. Now it is clear to us from this psalm that God's attention for those who truly love him is focused on compassion and mercy. And also his attention to those who are evil is centered on judgment. Now that's just a brief summary of what Psalm 34 is talking about. Thank you for sticking with me till now. Now this is the very important part of this video how we can use this psalm 34 to unlock our financial miracle now the particular verse i was talking about is psalm 34 verse 10 the young lions do lack and suffer hunger but those that seek the lord shall not want any good thing very powerful verse we have now this is how i want you to go about using psalm 34 from today now you are expected to do this 
first thing in the morning before taking your bath get a bottle of water this bottle is about 150 cl and i like to take this um every day i like to take two of these every day for health benefits i mean taking a gallon of water a day is very important but for this purpose this would just for those of us who don't like to drink water then this is just a good way to take in a lot of water into our system now this is how you do it you get a big bottle of water you don't need to get a fancy bottle or anything this is just a regular bottle of water we have here in nigeria so what i do is i fill it up every morning okay i fill it up and what i do is i kneel down okay and i read psalm 34 from beginning till the end and as you read it try to meditate on each and every word that you're reading try and personalize it into your life just as i taught in the previous video where i spoke about how to say the lord's prayer personalizing it in your life okay now once you're done reading that verse while holding your water you're supposed to take a drink drink it okay drink it with faith and believe that because you serve god you will never want any good thing because God is always going to provide all the good things that you need in your life. Now, once you're done, you drink it. It doesn't matter how, how much water you want to drink. Take a little sip. You can pour it into a glass and drink. It doesn't matter. What matters is the water has been blessed. Okay? And it is ready to unlock your financial miracle. Now, while you want to take your bath, pour some drops into your bathing water and have your normal bath. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Have your normal bath and go about your day. Go about your day. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because every time I tried this prayer verse, I need to really be in an emotional mood. I need to really be in need of money before I say this verse. So I always say it when I'm really, really stranded without, without any plan B. That is, it is just God I have right now to see me through. And there was this one time when I was very, very down. You guys won't understand. I was so down. I had bills to pay. I had my children to take care of. In short, we all fell ill at the same time. And I didn't have enough money to take care of all of us and do other stuff. But that particular day, the moment I discovered this Bible verse, I said it and I did everything I've just told you. And I got a call from a wonderful sister. I'm sure she might watch this video. To be honest with you, I did not ask her for money. I did not do anything. But I just trusted in God, said that prayer, and she asked for my account detail. You needed to see how happy I was. You needed to see how happy I was. And when it happened to me, I'm like, I can't just keep quiet without letting you people know. I had to come out and share it and show you the exact steps I used. So I really hope that this video might help someone out there who is in real need of financial assistance a lot of us are suffering down there and god has given us the power just open the word of god and see how it will work for you in your life okay and at the end of the day i like to conclude with this prayer i have it written down in my book and i'm going to be reading it for you so you can also say this prayer um you know once you get out of the bathroom after taking your bath with this water and all that this is the prayer i like to say dear lord Thank you for letting me know that it is important to seek you first above all things. As I determine in my heart to seek you first today, please bless and prosper me. Cause lack to be far away from me and my household. Bless me with the wonderful riches of your storehouse. Thank you for listening and answering me in Jesus' precious name. Amen, amen, amen. And I carry out my day like that so at this point everything works out for me good and 
I hope it will work out for you. Like I said, three favors you have to do for me. Just follow it and practice this video as I have said and hope to hear good testimonies from you. So guys, that's all I have for today, my lovely people. I hope to hear from you soon and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like this video and if you've not subscribed, you don't want to miss out of this kind of videos that I put out on my channel. Okay, so do me a favor, click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And yes, until next time guys, this is Evelyn Ambrose saying bye.